Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be, I mean, obviously this cute summer set with this abstract black art. We did a, somewhat of a deep French, a little bit. And we did one hand matte, one hand shiny. Um, and use some buttercreams. I'm gonna show you guys a way to kind of get a custom look with your um, builder colors. This is a light elegance video. So with the Lexi line, I'm gonna show you a technique. Okay, so this client has not had her nails done in a while. So um, you can see I am using that cutie patootie bit and I'm using about 8,000 RPMs and I'm using it to push her cuticle area back or properly known as the epinicium and removing the cuticle off the nail plate and this bit is fantastic because it's a diamond bit but it also um has diamond burrs on the top that flat part on the top that's actually facing the um epinicium uh, so it helps kind of push back and exfoliate that skin and lift it up that dead skin and things like that a little more um, I really like this bit. I really recommend it. Again, it's the cutie patootie bit from Light Elegance. So I'm just going in with this bit, pushing that back. And then I'm using the buffy bit. And I'm using it on reverse. I'm right-handed. I'm using it on reverse, which means I'm piling from left to right. And I really like using this method because it also um, pushes back the skin a little bit more, the epinicium a little more, just the way we're coming in. We're coming kind of from the bottom up. And so you see how it's kind of flipping it up. So, um, and then I'm kind of, you see, I'm working on buffing off that skin. So I'm kind of hitting it from different angles. You see that skin flick off. I absolutely love the buffy bit. I had a round bit in the past I used for years. And this bit seems so much more effective. So I'm going in with the perfect file from my elegance. I'm just removing. The client still has some old product um from a while ago and i'm sure she probably popped off her previous nails um but yeah there's a little remnant left so just trying to get that but not filing into her live nail but etching it so we're using the clear stiletto tips from my elegance who knew they made tips um <laughs> so i really like these tips i am, am a person who's used many and plenty of stiletto tips over the years um, it's what I use most often, especially pre-pandemic and things like that when I was was doing at least a little splash of acrylic and things like that, which doesn't matter, but um, I did more tip application then. So I would use stiletto tips and just cut down the top part and it would be like a perfect, you know, coffin shape. If they want a stiletto shape, it still worked. Um, almond shape, you know, you can shorten it down or whatever, but just having that tapered effect from the sidewalls to begin with was helpful unless somebody wanted square nails but who wants that right <laughs> so i'm using the light elegance nail glue and apply those tips of course you guys know i flip the hand up so i can kind of help make sure those tips are straighter see them from a different vantage point so now i'm using the shaper bit which is also a diamond bit a cross cut style bit and i'm just blending in the tip of um the tip with the client's natural nail so and i'm very um when i blend tips it just depends on what i'm doing what the finished look is going to be but i for sure want to blend in those corners you for sure want to do that or you're starting the a whole snowball effect of your nails getting hips <laughs> okay and we don't want the nails to have hips so take blend that part down at least at those sidewalls <laughs> so i'm going in with like elegance tack i um use a pro cleanser dust it off the nail going in with tack and you can apply tack to the tip um it has a little bit of acetone in it and it'll kind of um dissolve that plastic ever so slightly and implement that um adhesive solution it'll kind of etch that tip just so you can make double sure your product will adhere or you can buff it or you know or whatever your style is so i'm using soft pink jimmy gel as the base and this 
one Jimmy Gel soaks off, and I like the fact that there is a barrier. So in the future, if um, I don't want this client to have to pop her nails off, all I know, you know, I pop my nails off too. I get it, but I can't recommend a client to do so. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it does soak off. So if you're able to file off the hard gel, clip them down, file it off pretty low, you can soak that Jimmy gel off. So we applied that and also smoothed out um, the nail from the tip to the actual natural nail. So now I'm going in with um, a thin layer of color. So I am doing this because I just want a custom look. And that's what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. You can apply the builder type colors in layers so you can take advantage of the sheerness of it and then you can encapsulate with clear or like soft pink or something like that or um, I think it's like baby pink and just create like a custom look depending on you know what you want for yourself what your client wants whatever so as you can see this is like elegance's one step ideal pink ideal pink one step <laughs> and i'm applying it really thin i'm basically kind of polishing it on as you can see so i'm just using the gel polish brush from light elegance as well and i'm just polishing it on in places where i want to make sure it's a little bit even or get a little more coverage as you can see i'm picking up some more but i'm pretty much polishing it on i kind of float right there kind of floating it so i'm light on the surface instead of scraping the brush deep into the product but generally speaking i'm i'm polishing it on so i'm getting as close to the cuticle area as possible and then brushing down that color and then any areas i want to have a little more coverage i'm just floating a little more on but this color is not taking on the opacity and the same color it would if I actually built up the nail with this product. So, again, this is a way you can get kind of a custom look and color. Because, one, the um, the color will just look different when it's thinner. It'll look more sheer. It'll allow more of the natural nail bed to come through. Um, so, depending on what you're doing, especially if you're not using a tip or anything... You can just leave it sheer, encapsulate, like I said, clear, soft pink, baby pink or something like that. And it'll give you a different effect. Um, for this, set, I had to make sure that you could not really see where the tip and the natural nail started. So I applied a little more product towards the center of the nail and down. Um, but you could see kind of at her cuticle area, it's a little, little more sheer. You can see more of her natural nail bed color coming in from underneath, which I really enjoy because it's playing with the tone her body already creates. You know what I mean? Which is her natural nail bed color. So now I'm going in with Light Elegance Cool Gel and I am encapsulating our color essentially. So I'm going to build our strength and everything with the clear so we don't have to add any more opacity, change the color that we have. Again, you have option to essentially encapsulate with I would do like clear or something sheer something like that just for this effect to really make sense you know what I mean <laughs> so I'm still using the gel um polish bling brush from my elegance applying our slip layer which is a thin layer we brush on and when I say thin layer I mean thin layer okay brush it on thin and then if you can polish it on, I'm telling you, Builder Gel is the way to go. <laughs> so you polish that first layer on, essentially, that slip layer. And then we take a bigger bead and float it on the nail. And Builder Gel self-levels. It works with gravity. And so any lumps and bumps will slowly level out. Now, if you find that your nail is getting hips again, it's oozing to the side, it's touching the skin, um, try to catch it before it gets there. And you're always free to work in multiple layers so you can use less product at a time so it's easier for you to handle and maintain. So I went ahead and shaped off camera and I used the Perfect File from Light Elegance. And now I'm going in with the Shaper Bit again. 
which is, you know, if I'm lost on a deserted island, I don't even know if that's how you propose that situation. This is just my favorite bit. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, you can use it for so much. You can use it for prep, shaping, cleaning up. I mean, if you're on that island and you need to take you need to take nails off, it would take a while, but you could. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> and this does double duty for me in regards to um, buffing the nail for our gel color. So, this is smoothing out the surface and refining actual lumps and bumps and getting the shape together. But simultaneously, the texture that it leaves behind is perfect for gel polish application, top coat, or whatnot. So I'm just going in all different directions. And I'm using this bit at about, I usually use it at about 12, 13,000 RPMs, give or take. Probably low is like 11. It's just kind of what feels right, what feels like the product um, is, you know, reacting to, getting the look I want. I'll speed it up a little if there's a little more intense of a lump or a bump. So these are the colors that I am using today. Totally Tubular, Super Freak, Fresh to Death, Playful Peak, Leotards and Leg Warmers, and um, Tennis Anyone. I'm going to use right now to essentially try to make a yellow. I realized I didn't have a yellow buttercream. Tennis Anyone isn't a buttercream. So I'm mixing those, and I also have a color from the fall collection. It's like a Dijon color. Um, let me go find out what it is. Hold on one second. It's called Grazing the Grasslands. It's not like I came right back, but it took me like a few minutes to go find it out. So I'm mixing these colors and what I thought would make like a decent yellow. And honestly, it worked out. So fresh to death, leotards and leg warmers and grazing the grasslands made like a pretty fantastic, like more brighter yellow. <laughs> So here we go. <laughs> so I'm using the Selena Ryden stripey brush and going in and just drawing in our fringes. And now you see I began, I made this a deeper French. And then I realized with the design that my client wanted that I need to kind of bring it up a little bit. Because if it's left up to me, I'll make the skinniest, deepest French ever it'll be the that trench in the ocean what is it the mary the marina trench the mariana trench y'all google i know like 50 percent of my fun facts <laughs> um so i'm using the gel polish brush to fill in the rest the bigger areas because it doesn't make any sense to use that little skinny brush to fill it in let's get it done so i'm using the nail next to it once i get it started Get it where I like. I, of course, cure. I like to cure in between my artwork, um, especially, you know, of course, where it makes sense to do so, which is basically most of the time. If I get something I like, I know it's good. Let's go ahead and cure and lock it in because I'll touch the previous nail. The client will. I'll mess it up. Let's go ahead and lock it in. So I use the nail next to it, basically drew a line where the French should go just slightly lower. So I have room for air to kind of bring it up a little bit if need be. And then I'm going ahead and filling it in. And um, that color is super free. So this color is playful pink and I have been getting so much use out of this color. This is, I think, one of their, it's such a beautiful, bright, hot pink from Lay Elegance. They have a um, a new hot pink with the most recent summer collection as far as the buttercreams goes. And it's actually, it's pretty bright too. This one, I've used it so many times and only with this client did I realize it has the slightest, slightest like, iridescent shimmery effect like a blue iridescent shimmery effect just ever so slightly i don't know if you could tell but if you have it tell me if you see it it's kind of cool like it doesn't offend it doesn't make me think it's a shimmery color it just gives it like a little more depth and vibrancy so i'm using that same technique as you can see 
comparing the nails, making sure that French is about the same because we don't want them to look all over the place and everything like that. We want them to look like sisters, you know. They're probably not going to look like twins, but they got to look related, you know what I mean? So going in with that same technique, I like to draw. Again, you see me drew that. Drew, that's not good English. <laughs> you see me draw that um, line for the depth of the French. And then I like to go into the sides and kind of mark that unless the client otherwise tells me i'm probably going to start the sides of the french as you can see like where the side walls start basically a little bit above where the free edge starts so unless they want some you know different beside that that's that's where my instincts are and then we can make a deep french shallow french whatever we want from there so we're going to start on this artwork and it's actually so much quicker than doing the Frenches. Very honest. I'm not exaggerating at all. <laughs> um, so as you can see, I use the stylus um, from my elegance. I think it's the number one one, the number one one. <laughs> and I basically made some dots, as you can see. And I'm taking the stripey brush and pulling it down and kind of blending it so it doesn't look like a a stick with a ball on top it kind of looks like a, a drop or something this is just abstract art and I actually did something similar to this kind of more dramatic in a previous set and so I was like okay I kind of know what to do I don't even know if the previous it makes me think they were inspired by the, like the same artist did two different sets but use the same technique anyways so I am using um the black tie buttercream for this so, you know, which has great, great pigmentation. So I did that little drop up top and I used that same technique. I didn't get that on camera for whatever reason. I just used the daughter tool and pulled it up, just kind of blend it. So it looks like a little raindrop or something like that. So this design is kind of a design that mimics the French, which is almost the hardest part here with that because the French is, like I said, took me the longest to draw um, besides this art, but it was not too bad. I would say the hardest, the most difficult element rather besides the French is, which isn't difficult per se, it's just tedious because, you know, you kind of want it perfect, was trying to make the artwork identical from hand to hand you know what I mean? Like the middle finger of this matches the middle finger on the other hand, of course, you know, which isn't uncommon, but it's abstract art. So, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it may come to other people. Easy. I mean, we all have our, you know, our things, what comes to us easily, what doesn't. Um, and it just is what it is. You know what I mean? So for me, matching up like abstract type art is a little more difficult and I did my best okay I could tell you that this finger doesn't identically match the correlating one on the other hand and I want to tell you with a hundred percent certainty the pinky design that ends up happening does not match the other hand's respective pinky design at all <laughs> um ever so slightly then I kind of lost it which is kind of a cool, it's like a lightning bolt type cracked, creepy crawly design. You know, I don't know. This is just cute randomness. And I like the contrast of the bright color and the thumb. I just freestyled this. I just made this up because the picture didn't have the thumb. So I was like, let me, let me just do something. And so I did it. And I think it, I think it goes, it flows. So I'm using Light Elegance Super Shiny and Light Elegance Flat Matte. This client could not decide if she wanted shiny or matte. And so she said, let's do one hand shiny and let's do one hand matte. And so, of course, that's what she got. And I, I think it's always a good, you know, if you can't decide, go ahead and do that. Especially because the design is essentially literally the same on both hands. Um, although the colors are different, we still get the same, the same colors in the same actual like artwork design, the black part. Um, so you can 
you know, and I appreciate both. I honestly don't know which one I prefer more. Um, and so, you know, tell me down below which one you prefer the most, shiny or matte, shiny or matte. So also let's talk about emojis. What are emojis today? Let's do, I mean, we're on pink. Let's just do a pink heart or something fun. Is there a lime green emoji? Let's do a lime green emoji. A pink and lime green emoji. No, let's do one for each color. Don't just play them. Just comment down below. Of course, it helps with the, you know, algorithm and everything like that. And, you know, you get this beautiful content. And all I ask in return is just a little emoji, a little thumbs up. That's it. That's all. <laughs> so I went ahead and applied super shiny, flat matte. Wiped off the tacky layer, applied cuticle oil. I used my like Elegance cuticle oil, and this is our final result. So tell me, do you like matte? Do you like a shiny? We're looking at the matte, which I, I mean, like I said, I can really appreciate the both both of them. I like the translucency of the nail bed color and stuff on the shiny that kind of comes out more. And you see how that nail bed color looks. If you're familiar with like Elegance's line, you know this isn't fully look like you know ideal pink it's, but it's because we applied it more sheer and built up that clear on top so hopefully you can see and appreciate that look and you see towards her cuticle area you can kind of see ones that don't have lines her natural nail bed color coming through just for that first like quarter of an inch and it kind of of course blends out so her natural nail bed color is coming through and look how fun this set is so I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Comment your best summer emoji down below. And subscribe. And of course, of course, check out lightelegance.com. Of course. All right, you guys. Bye.